Live at Web Visions, I'm Cami Chaos, and right now we're here with Kate Rudder. Hi, Kate. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I am well, thank you. You're one of the speakers here at Web Visions. Yes. What, have you, have you done your talk? I did, it was this morning. This morning, and what was your talk on? My talk was on strategy patois, mm -hmm. which is connecting the, the uh, language dialects of business and design and trying to find a good way to align those a little more effectively than we do. I'm sensing a theme. I don't know if you guys have seen the other interviews, but it's a big thing that's going on right now. Uh, so do you think that there's more um, of a language barrier? I mean, do you think it's an actual practical application dis dis disconnect, or do you think it's just the way people look at it and the way people see it? I think it's the way that, that organizations are structured to behave, that they've almost created these small microcultures mm -hmm. that have a shared language and a shared way that they, that they describe things. It is a click. It's jargon. Patois is actually a, a form of language that's very specialized, kind of mm -hmm. has a connotation of being the insider group, a little bit non-welcoming, um, non et cetera. So that's why I called the talk strategy patois, mm -hmm. that there's a business dialect and there's a design dialect. Mm -hmm. When you are in a collaborative setting where you're designing for a business outcome, the language just doesn't align, and so it's very difficult to have authentic and effective communications in that, in that context. So what can we do better? And that was a little bit about what we covered today. So is it difficult, do you find, to teach people to, to speak to one another, to, to communicate? I mean, is it something that people are hesitant to do? So the, I don't think they're hesitant. I think we can make it as complicated as we need to. Mm -hmm. some, there's some very simple principles, which uh, my favorite came from a fairly uh, uncomfortable personal experience. I was asked <laughs> a very direct question by mm -hmm. a very... Uh, high-level executive, mm -hmm. um, lots of resources needed to be supportive of the design, and uh, what I heard back, I was actually not speaking, but I was part of the team, what I heard back was a very long and lovingly unfolding story. And you know, when you're asked a direct question, you need to have a direct answer, yeah. and it scared me. I didn't have those words, mm -hmm. and so since for the last couple of years, I've been looking to how do we develop those words. So one of the principles that uh, I've been successful with and that I'm sharing out is that, you know, when someone asks you a question, don't bury the lead. Mm -hmm. Don't be like a journalist. Just answer the question and then use the greater story to provide more context. So Sometimes give the we answer just do it front. off it. Mm -hmm. Give the answer up front. What is your favorite color? It is red because... That's right. Yeah. As opposed to when I was six, yeah. you know, yeah. full and rich. So how did you get interested in this? Well, like I said, I, I had kind of a significant catastrophic failure in a communication, mm -hmm. and I'm a consultant, and, uh, and it was a client situation. It didn't turn out that impact, I, mean, I don't want to over-treat it, the impact didn't, wasn't that bad, yeah. um, but it really concerned me. What is it about a design approach or the lens that design provides that's valuable that does not directly connect with the business outcomes and the language that people that are responsible for those outcomes have? Mm -hmm. And that's... If we're playing on the same team, hopefully for the same converged goals, then we need to be able to talk about those goals and communicate across those different language patterns more effectively. And so it was really that, that experience, I, don't, I didn't want to go through it again. I don't want anyone else to go through that. And so what can I, I've just been watching and learning those lessons over time and collecting them, and now's the time to come back. So how is it that you go about teaching the other people that you're communicating with? Uh, to, to apply this practically, because not everyone's going to be able to attend your panel, not everyone's or your um, your talk, not everyone. Uh, do you see what I'm saying? So, how do we get that to be how more practical use? Sure, uh, I can share a couple of them right now, just because they are so absolutely basic That'd and be simple. Fantastic. When someone uses a specialized term, ask what it means. Mm -hmm. Try and reframe it in a very just general, completely understandable language. So, if someone says, "Tell me the R ROI on that new product launch," uh, if Essentially, the, the simple meaning is, tell me when we're going to make money, and are we going to make more than we spent? Mm -hmm. And if you reframe that, just having that language in your head kind of keeps that ROI specialization kind of out of it, and you know, we're looking to make money, we're looking to do that within a time period, we're looking to make more than we spend. Mm -hmm. It's very simple, mm -hmm. but when we buy into the specialized terms, as they get more and more specialized, we kind of lose track of how simple they can be. And then you have a design team designing for the idea of ROI, but not really um, able to design for the time and the income and the revenue model and the, and the cost, right? right? Those, are the, those are the business contingencies that need to be answered with very simple questions. So you're saying that within that culture, I mean, there are, there are certain people that are going to be able to need to use the term ROI because they don't need to explain it every time. That's fine. It's just when they're communicating outside of their own direct uh, group 
Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's it. It's par partially a translation issue. Uh, I also think we can be more rig rigorous as designers. There's a lot of specialized language in the user experience field, mm -hmm. generative research and participatory design. And, and we know what those, many times an insular group will know what those mean. Mm -hmm. And I think other people will play along that they know no what they mean, but they won't. They don't know something. No one wants to no say one they wants don't know to be something. like, oh, I'm probably supposed to know that. I know, ah. but I'd rather look dumb than be wrong. Yeah, you know? exactly. So what, you said there was a second one? Um, <clears throat> I'm sure there is, but I'm, I've <laughs> lost track. We've lost what that is. We don't know. But that's a really, really important one. So there, actually, that's two right there. Right. Is, is breaking things down simply and being not afraid to ask right. a question. Real language, ask for clarification, mm -hmm. and then the more the meaty part where people can go and, and probably watch the podcast is, uh, is a series of tools that designers currently use and how to tweak those for more of a strategic, more business open lens. So okay. for example, um, using storyboards, but using storyboards not, not around illustrating an interface or a design problem, which is mm -hmm. fairly common practice, but instead using storyboards to talk about the, how the business outcome will um, will take form in a user's life. Okay. So, so a broader kind of a broader uh, how it lens affects on the that. end user. Exactly. Okay. All right. Well, Kate, it was wonderful to talk to you. Uh, why don't you let everybody know where they can find you on the web? Sure. And on Twitter, if you're there. Yes. I hope uh, you can <laughs> follow me at uh, at Kate Rutter. Mm -hmm. It's K A T E R U T T E R. Mm -hmm. uh, you can I blog at adaptivepath.com. Mm -hmm. And I have a little bit of a, of a slow-moving blog at Intelletto. That's dub dub dub, um, Intelletto, I N T E L L E T O dot com. All right, great, Kate. Thank, thank you. you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.